everyone, it's me again, Teacher Carr, and today we are going to answer some queries about the Service Recognition Incentive, which has been signed and approved by our very own President Rodrigo Roa Duterte last December 18, 2020. So first question, is this legit or a fake news? So this is legit. And this is based on the administrative order number 37, which was released by the Malacanang Palace, saying the 30 okays 10,000 pesos service incentive to government workers. So, according to our source, the Philippine Inquirer.net, uh, President Rodrigo Duterte has authorized the grant of one time service recognition incentive or the SRI worth 10,000 pesos each for qualified government employees. So this is 100% legit po. So second question, who are the recipients or who will receive this one-time service recognition incentive? According again to the administrative order number 37, the incentive will be received by workers in national government agencies, including those in state universities and colleges and government-owned or controlled corporations or the GOCCs and those occupying regular contractual or casual positions. The Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, the Bureau of Corrections, the Philippine Coast Guard, and the Ma National Mapping and Resource Information Authority will also receive the SRI according to the EAO. Only personnel still in government service and those that have rendered at least four months of service as of November 30 will receive the cash incentive. Employees who have rendered less than four months of service are entitled to a pro-rated rated share of the SRI. Also, government workers who have not received any additional year-end benefit in 2020 over and above the benefit under Republic Act 6686 are also entitled to the SRI according to Duterte's order. So very clear, those are the recipients of the 2020 Service Recognition Incentive. Third question, ilan at kailan po i-release ang SRI? So, government employees in the executive department will receive an amount not exceeding 10,000 pesos as service recognition incentive, which shall be given not earlier than December 21, 2020. So, yung mga recipients ay makaka-receive na ng 10,000 pesos not earlier than December 21. Fourth question, what are the conditions on the grant of the SRI? So, the grant of the SRI shall be subject to the following conditions. First, the civilian personnel are occupying regular, contractual, or casual positions. Second, the personnel are still in the government service as of November 30, 2020. Third, the personnel have rendered at least a total or an aggregate of four months of satisfactory service as of November 30, 2020, inclusive of services re rendered under any of the alternative work arrangements prescribed by the Civil Service Commission. Fourth, those who have rendered at least a total or an aggregate those who have rendered less than a total or an aggregate of four months of satisfactory service as of November 30, 2020 shall be entitled to a prorated share of the SRI as follows. So, um, it is shown in the screen, length of service, pag three months but less than four months, the percentage of the incentive is 40%. Pag 2 months but less than 3 months, the percentage is 30%. Pag 
kapag one month but less than two months, the percentage of the incentive is 20% and if it is less than one month, you will be receiving 10% of the incentive. And last condition is that the employees have not received any additional year-end benefit in the fiscal year 2020 over and above the benefit authorized under RA number 6686 as amended by Republic Act number 8441. So for clarification of the grant of the SRI pertains to the section 4 of the administrative order number 37 about the funding source of the SRI for employees in the executive department. So the funding source of the grant of SRI to employees in the executive department shall be governed by the following. So first, for national government agencies, including state universities and colleges, and military and uniformed personnel, the amount required shall be charged against the available released personal services allotments of the respective agencies under Republic Act No. 11465 or the Fiscal Year 2020 General Appropriations Act. Second, in case of deficiency, the amount required may be charged against the maintenance and other operating expenses allotment of the concerned government agency subject to the rules on modification of allotments under Section 70 of the General Provisions of the Fiscal Year 2020 and other pertinent budgeting, accounting, and auditing rules and regulations. Third, for GOCCs, the amount required shall be charged against their respective approved corporate operating budgets for fiscal year 2020 only. And last, should the identified funding source prove insufficient to cover the full amount of the SRI, a lower but uniform amount shall be paid to all qualified employees of the NGA or GOCCs. So, yon. For other further clarifications, I'll be linking this administrative order on the description box for you to be guided. And para mabasa rin nyo rin ang full administrative order about this uh, service recognition incentive grant. So, uh, ayan. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, advance Merry Christmas to all of you and a prosperous new year. So, this is me again, Teacher Car. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. And of course, click the notification bell for you to be updated to my newest videos. Thank you so much!